Hello everybody, welcome back. So in the previous session I talked about the uh, clock settings and the boot mode in uh, Hi-Fi 1 Revision Vivo. And in this session I'm going to talk about uh, a machine timer interrupt. So how to, gen how to configure and generate a timer interrupt on uh, FE310SOC. This is what I'm going to discuss in this session. So in risk 5 so the there are the interrupts are categorized into two category one is the external interrupt so which is which go through an arbitration for this because on one platform there can be many uh, risk five code and uh, this external interrupts has to be um, has go through arbitration to decide which code is going to handle that but whereas there is uh, another category which is the local interrupt so core local interrupter and this is where the interrupts that are uh, what is a uh, specific to a particular core as handled here so i'm going to i'm just gonna um, talk about this timer interrupt and maybe uh, later i will i'll try to cover the software interrupt so let's see how to configure and generate this timer interrupt so if you read the risk 5 privilege pack then it would cover these timer registers so there are two timer registers one is the yum time and other one is the yum time compare register so yum time is the free running counter which uh, increments by 32768 for every second uh, because that's a uh, rtc clock rate of in the board and uh, the other register is the yum time compare register or which is um, the one which we can load a value with and whenever this free running counter reaches this value then the input uh, would be generated okay so a couple of uh, things to mention here are first these two registers are not csrs that means that they are not hardware registers as other csr like yum status so but instead of uh, instead these are memory map registers that means that you have to refer the manual of, uh, of that uh, particular chip to know the uh, address of these registers and second one these are 64-bit uh, registers even in rv32 these two registers are 64 so that it don't you can this would run for a so this would have space for a long uh, time and uh, also i see that the m time is not uh, resetted or uh, not initialized with zero in uh, every power cycle uh, so if you have to um, initialize this to zero you have to manually write and value and initialize it with zero okay Okay, now let's uh, get deeper in on to how to uh, configure this register. So as we just discussed, so these two registers, uh, the M time and M time compare registers, and so this uh, address of these registers I have taken from FE310 manual, and I have written the code in assembly. So in assembly, this is how you uh, declare a constant okay and as i said before these uh, registers are 64 bits and readable and writable and these are all the uh, memory map address of each so uh, apart from configuring the timer registers uh, the interrupt registers should be configured to enable those um, uh, enable the timer interrupt so these are the three uh, registers that has to be configured to enable the timer. The first one is the machine uh, trap vector base address register, where you basically loads the address of the trap routine. So when the interrupt occurs, uh, which address should the execution jump into and where you would handle the interrupt. And the second one is the machine interrupt enable register, where in the machine mode you go and enable specifically uh, what interrupts you want so here we need to enable the machine timer interrupt and there is a global register um, which is a uh, uh, which would over 
which is at the global level so in the m state which is the m state is registered here you enable the you have to enable the machine interrupt okay so these are all the interrupts that you have to configure or enable to uh, get the timer interrupt and uh, to know more about each field you can read from the rest 5 privilege spec so let's uh, get into the code So that's the, this is the uh, structure of the code. So from the main, I configure the timer registers, then I enable those, uh, or configure those three interrupt registers here. And then there's an infinite loop followed by the trap routine. So the execution would be uh, in the infinite loop until the M time register reaches the value of the M time compare register and then it will jump into the trap routine. Okay, so these two macros uh, are here. So first one is uh, configuring the timer register. So M time and M time uh, compare. So these, uh, as I said before, I have um, created these macros here. Uh, so the constants here for those address and uh, for the interrupt uh, bit mask and the interrupt values also have created another int loop file in assembly. So that's the uh, so that's how that's what you see here. So here very first I initialize the M time register with uh, zero both uh, the the lower the LSB 32 bits as well as the uh, MSB 32 bits because as I said before this is the 64 this is a 64 bit register and after power cycle since this is not initialized with zero i'm manually i'm manually initializing with zero and then i'm, con I'm loading a value equivalent to three seconds so if you calculate three times 32768 and the hex equivalent of that would be 0x 18000 but since this is uh, more than 12 bits i cannot load a uh, in one shot so what I basically do is load 3 and shift left by 15 bits so that that would be uh, equal to 3 seconds so this value I'm loading into the LSB 32 bits and I'm initializing the MSB 32 bits with 0 this is how I configure the timer registers and and the enable timer input macro those trap routine the machine trap vector base address is loaded with the trap routine but if you see here uh, the since this is an uh, CSR I use CSR commands uh, instructions to read and write whereas since this is an memory mapped register I use load and store commands to write into these registers so trap routine yeah so the label is trap routine so I'll load the label into the empty vec and I enable the machine interrupt enable in the global status register and the machine timer interrupt I enable in the machine interrupt enable register. Okay, let's uh, run this code. So now um, the GDB session is connected. I can load the code and just to show where we are. So let us say slash I terminal PC. So you see, so let me keep a breakpoint here. And 
and uh, once I continue, then okay. So you see the after some time the execution gets into the trap routine since I have a breakpoint. So definitely the interrupt uh, works, but let's see if it is uh, three seconds or not. Let me I'll try to sync both. Let's see. Okay, so it's it's approximately it works. So to make it more evident, I'll just make this as seventeen. That means that three into four it will be twelve seconds. And let's see if it will Uh, three. Okay, so that's that's the closest I can demonstrate. Yeah, so that's how you that's how the machine uh, interrupt and the machine timer interrupt works. And the story about this, this code would have been uh, better if uh, the indentation and the comments would have been clear. Okay, thanks and see you in the next session.